Okay, we have a nice 60s Smith Corona Electra 120. Just a real basic typewriter, but this is going to be a good everyday typewriter. And this one has been painted purple. A lot of the original ones come in um, blue or a green or, or a brown. But uh, we like to make these really fun colors. So um, most of you know how to work it, so I'll be really quick on this one. Here's your paper, um, your margins, press and drag. 12 inch carriage, great for larger paper or if you wanna do landscape, portrait, um, carriage release handles. You can tell I've been messing around with ink ribbons today. Right here, bell sounds good, open this up. There's your ribbon, uses the universal ribbon, black on top, red on bottom, make sure it's threaded through here, 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 and here. Close-up photos are on our Etsy shop. Um, ribbon reversal, if it doesn't auto reverse, you can reverse it right here. So if the typewriter locks up or you see the font getting faint, stop immediately. Always check your ribbon before you start typing, if it gets twisted or if it's wound the wrong way, it's gonna, this ribbon is gonna, um, you're gonna be able to reverse it many times before you need to change it out. So when you get to the end, don't think you're out of ink, you're not, just reverse the direction and it's gonna last you quite a while. Okay, ribbon reversal here, color selector here, it's on black, there's red, copy set, you'll probably never use it, but basically it determines how hard these bars are gonna strike your paper. Okay, let's go ahead and do a typing demo. Move the carriage over. Here's your paper guide. I'm gonna put that there, shift to my margin. I'm gonna bring my margins in. Also, when you hear the bell, that means you've gotten to the end of your margin, and if you need a few more characters, because it'll, it'll stop right at your margin. Um, your margin release is right here. Most of you who haven't grown up with typewriters, that's a new concept because the typewriter will just, I mean, a computer will just keep going and going and going. Okay, so this is Cricut. I always like to bring it up to make sure it's even and it's not. So paper release on this right side. I'm gonna get a, there we go, nice and even. And head back over here. And let's turn it on, on, off switch. You can hear the motor, your motor is right here. So one thing, I haven't said this in a while. Okay, first of all, before you open the top, always move your carriage to the left so that your return handle doesn't scrape the top. So if you open it up, you'll see the motor's running right there. When you're moving one of these electrics, don't grab it here and press in because sometimes it pushes in the metal and you'll hear the motor start scraping against the side. If that does happen, just kind of open it up and gently kind of pull this apart so that the motor is not scraping the side. We just noticed, sorry, I keep bumping my camera. Anyway, we've just noticed that that happens occasionally where you can tell people have been like holding it like tight and it's pushed this top in and so now it's not a big deal, easy fix, but just FYI. Return handle not only returns you to the beginning of the line, but it advances you a line. And if you want to go to double line or triple spacing, that's what the left lever is for. Okay. Oh, by the way, tabs in the middle. So every time you press that, that goes to a tab. And over the years, everybody's trying to set a tab. So you, as in this case, you'll see <laughs> there's a bunch of tabs. So go to a tab, you don't want it there, hit clear. Clear, clear, okay. Same thing with set. If you wanna set a tab, let's say you wanna set it here, then hit set, okay? That's how that works. All right, let's go ahead and start typing. And I apologize for hitting my camera. Let's try this again. All right, so this is a 1960s. And this works so well. I love these electrics. After typing on some manuals today that were very difficult, this feels fantastic. 
love the font. I'm not sure what that is. It's very much a modern, um, looks like early computer type font. It's very fun looking. Do a shift lock. All you OCD people are probably going nuts because I'm not doing the same exact same pattern as I did before. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so on the electrics, there are three keys that auto repeat it's the dash, the period, and the X comes in handy because there's no delete button, so I usually X or dash through something. All right, let's uh, keep typing. That, this is a sensitive key. So you don't want to hit that too hard. All right, let's try the red. Oops, hold on. Ah, okay, perfect. It felt weird to me, and um, let me show you something. See how real font faint that is? It tells me, and I can look, and I can see that this is stretched a little bit. I need to reverse the direction of my ribbon. This did not auto-reverse. So I'm going to go all the way back here. Ribbon reversal. Uh, but first, I'm just going to double check, make sure there aren't any issues. Uh, so it came out of my guide wire. Let's see if that was part of the problem. Okay. Like I said, always check your ribbon. There we go, there's my red. So this uh, shows a little uh, bleed in the, in the letters and I think that's just because this is a brand new ribbon and there's a lot of ink in it, but Okay, I can't go too fast, it's tempting because the keys are getting um, caught up on each other. So, slow and steady on this one. Um. Okay, you can still type quickly, um, much faster than you can on a manual. However, um, I just couldn't go full speed. So um, depends on how much of a, how fast you type. This is in great condition. This is not gonna be a top of the line computer, but this is gonna be a great everyday computer, a great beginner computer. I can't believe I'm saying computer. Typewriter, this is a great everyday typewriter. Good for kids, good for crafts, cause you've got the 12 inch carriage, so it gives you some flexibility. Um, Good for college students. Um, it is electric, so you have to plug it into the wall and it is not considered a portable, even though it has a case with a handle on it. It's just gonna be very heavy to uh, try to carry that around and find an outlet to plug this in. So this would be a stationary, um, really pretty typewriter. Could go, no matter which one, if you find another one like this, any of the Smith Corona electrics from the 60s or 70s, I highly recommend. They're just great typewriters for anybody, whether you're writing a book, your kids, your beginner, you're doing poetry, uh, you're just writing letters, you just want something on hand for crafts. You can't go wrong with an electric. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our Etsy shop. And coming soon, I'm hopefully my new website will be done it's taking me a lot longer than i anticipated anyway if you're watching this on memorial weekend have a great memorial weekend remember to honor those who have served our nation have a blessed day